Howdy, folks! This is your host, Van Double Seven Three here, cruising the land, pulling the road, goes pulling into the golf park with the old handbrake. And today, today, folks, thought I'd bring you a nice little quick and easy guide, a two for one. And you're probably thinking, two for one, man? What do you mean by that? Well, as evidenced by the title, I am bringing you a money and quick and easy experience guide. Now, believe it or not, this actually takes place in the same mission, which makes it very, very easy. And this can be slightly determined by what level you actually are at the time. Now, for me personally, I reckon anything probably above, I don't know, level 60 or 70, if you've got these, some pretty good weapons there, and then pretty much anything above the actual mission level itself will suffice quite nicely. Now, this is more so if you actually don't have the time to do the original EXP method that came out in which that was where you would kill the NPCs in the Forgotten Woods area. If you don't quite have the time to do that, then this is the quickest way to do it. And this will also gain you 2 million credits per run. So you're not only getting in excess of 100,000 EXP, you're actually getting 2 million credits. Now, there is no way to actually boost credits that I know of. When I, fi when I find out if there is a way, I will let you know, but... There is no way to actually boost any credits you get because it's already set. But if there is some exploit, then I'm going to have to experiment before I let you guys know. But if I do somehow manage to find something, it probably could be in the next update for all we know. But anyway, now, first off, for the guy... To do this, you want to go to the lobby, to the online co-op, talk to the offices unit there, so select your options, doesn't matter whether you put private private room on or not, I have just for ease of doing this, it's just so much easier. Now, while we're in the room, before I actually go into the mission, I will get a bit, now let you know, I'll get about 179,045 EXP, something around that mark. I will get three, I think it's three different items for completing the quest. One item is actually the one we need. Now if we run back over here to the same offices unit, select the quest under normal. Now because I've got more quests, I have to go up, hold L2, hit up. Then up twice more, which gives us the cop shooting page two mission, which is level ninety five. But I reckon you could do it probably level sixty if you if you got some really good weapons. I wish no doubt some of you guys do. So select that mission. Now I don't know if I can actually access this here. Yes, I can. There we go. That is your rewards for the mission. HE laser emitter times three, UHE laser emitter times three, and EM material times three. But the one we're really after here, besides the EXP, is the high quality emeralds by four. Now, high quality emeralds sell for 500,000 apiece. So instead of spending four, five, six hours grinding out in the field to get probably 50, you can spend that five, six hours grinding here and, and get. I don't know how many. Depends on. I don't know how many you can get done. Because also is how how. Ooh. Ah, folks. Ooh. Depends on how fast you do the mission. Now, as you saw, my record time is 30 seconds, but that was a sheer fluke of a time that one. Now, of course, for doing the EXP side of things, you actually want some EXP gear. Preferably, the more experience points on it, the better. I will touch on that in the uh, in a little later in the guide too to just show you where to show you what you're gonna need to actually upgrade how much experience you get. Now, when it comes to doing the weapon side of it, you're just gonna need weapon chips. So any extra weapons you've got that have the experience on there, put it onto a weapon that you are actually wanting to use. Such as, personally, would recommend a submachine gun or an assault rifle. Also, I would recommend having, for this mission, damage versus max, an auto reload rate. 
would be the other two I would recommend. The higher, the better on those two as well. Now, I got 15% plus for experience on this and my other weapon. I'm using an assault rifle, and I've got my other weapon being a sword, but that doesn't matter. The thing is, the percentage increases, they do stack. And I also equip your officers with them with the boost as well, because their actual bonuses stack on top of yours. However, if you give them to your other partners, like Sinon, Kirito, whoever NPCs you want to take, I could be wrong, but as far as I'm aware, they don't stack. So it's only you, only yours plus your officers that actually stack. If you were doing it with a party, say out in the field, and you had one of the other NPCs in there, I'm sure it probably does stack as well. And leave that down in the comment section below, folks. Let me know. But, and again, for accessories, you're going to want the XP stuff. I got a 17.02% increase there. And then a 9% increase, I think, on this one. 9.1. I'll touch, I'll touch on how to upgrade these two in a bit. But for now, that's all we need to know. And, of course, your outfit doesn't really matter. Your skills don't really matter. Or that's your own personal set, really. Same with your stats. But I'd recommend sinking a bit into your, into your strength to deal high damage. But also into... Where are we? Uh, dexterity, I think is the other one. Yeah. Dexterity, luck, and strength we want to sink it into for XP grinding. But I'm not worried too much about that because of my level. As for the mission itself, let's do it. Any sort of XP you have, folks, will work perfectly fine. As I say, probably the higher the percentages, the better. And damage versus mechs, as well as auto reload of what you're going to want. And preferably some form, preferably power form something on your on one of your weapons. You could use armor break as well, which I'm actually going to do here to try and speed this up a little bit. Mind the fact that there's no second, I'm going to have a power break on as well, just because I can. Just make sure to dodge his missiles whenever he fires them, not going to hit by the last one. They're pretty easy to dodge, just time them, time them right. It might take a little while for you to get a handle on it, because sometimes you'll shoot four instead of three, and sometimes you might only get two. Just be warned. Yeah, because this would go much faster if everyone were actually shooting him instead of using skills as a gem. I almost got, I dodged there, no, I wasn't gonna get in. Your instinct on times will be to dodge, so. There you go, I got it wrong. 173,985. Now that's about 347,000 experience for two runs. So in five minutes, you could have 700,000 experience. I say 700,000, roughly, as an estimate. Because I don't know what your percentage is being on your gear, but for mine, that's what I'd have. And that's included, and there you go, there's our rewards. Now, the reason I say five minutes for that is just due to navigating menus and things. You could actually get more than that in five minutes, again, based on your percentage increases and things, but it, again, that just depends on your, on your buffs and stuff, so. Really, that's no biggie, you know, your percentages are, but again, higher the better. Now, to increase your EXP percentages, now, weapons I'm sure you all already know. Go to Liz in Kirito's room and... Go into... Ooh, whoa, I need to go and have a look myself to just quickly refresh my memory. Let's do it together, folks. Just a quick refresh of y'all as well. Kitty those room. Doesn't really matter what option you select there, because the room's not really that big. I'm actually surprised they even gave you all those options for the fact that the room is not that big at all. I know some people probably just go straight to a specific point, but... Who cares? Talk to Liz, enhance a weapon. Uh, no, no, we need to go in here. Now I'm pretty good. Remember to filter EXP. Now I don't know how much it's. Why would I got? But 
Yeah, you select your weapon. Uh, let me actually check to see if I can even increase the XP beyond 15%. Give me a second. I, I honestly don't know if I can. Well, you can. It'll take a little bit, though. There you go. But yeah, so you go into transform, select your weapons, select, and you can do it with whatever other chips you want to. That doesn't really matter. But yeah, once you get to 15% on experience, so that's gonna take a bit to go up. So I need to do a little bit more work here, get some more, more stuff done. Oh, and there's a uh, warning: you will need credits too. So I'll just quickly uh, let's see confirm. I'm not gonna do this. But it should. Let's give it to what you'll need. But yeah, you will need to have transformation chips and things like the weapon chips don't unlock the slots because sometimes it could be a could be one of these and you'll actually need your thing to unlock it. But that's a minor problem. Um let's see what else have I got here quickly. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so I have a fire mechanism. Huh. That, that wasn't actually the where I wanted to go, but anyway. Auto reload rate. Arr! I got a decent like, I didn't actually want to. Wow, I don't know as many auto reload as I thought. Um, yeah, and you will actually use up the weapon too, just as a warning. Oh, there you go, there's your prices there, sort of. And your chip costs as well. Um, yeah. As a warning, you will need plenty of money, plenty of chips. Or unlock chips, should I say. And plenty of weapons, because you will use a weapon every time you do a transform, too, so. But you can put weak spot damage on as well if you want to. It's your choice. Damage versus mix. And actually, this particular buff... The damage effects will come in very handy for a certain mission too, which is Alice's mission, where you gotta kill a tank. It's a mech. I haven't done that mission yet. I actually gotta do gotta do that. But, yeah. So you know, choose your, basically just choose your weapon, upgrade it, and go from there. It's really your choice what weapons you want to use. You can use a sword if you want to. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it recommend it personally, but. It's your choice. It's your characters. Now, to upgrade your accessories, you got to go to your room to the craft accessories area, which is just inside the first... the door there. And the extension. Examine. Now, transform actually is really screwy. So I'm not going to go in there. Well, actually, I'll touch on it quickly for you. Basically, if you if I select this and then this, it literally just swaps the chips around. <laughs> I don't see how that's even of any benefit, really. I should try to I should try a couple of things. Something. Ah, uh, do 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 do. do. <laughs> yeah, I've got actually, yeah, I've got two two varieties here I can check. Literally, yeah, literally just swaps the chips. <laughs> there you go, folks. You just learned something. Anyway, now what I was gonna do to increase EXP. We will need, and I'll just use this as a random thing. You will need beautiful diamonds, which can be acquired through finding boss ones like the Elemental Wizards from the second DLC. Or indeed, the uh, final boss of the main storyline, for that matter. Depends how many times you want to watch any of the endings, I suppose. Yeah, let's see, large energized crystals. Because diamonds, you'll need two. I've already got two. Doesn't really matter. 
H E E M materials. You need three. I got 200 for one. Doesn't matter. You need ten large energized crystals. Five metal fragments. You need 30. But you can see there's a vast difference in, in material types just between these. Uh, it's crazy. There you Well, there you go. I need two high quality emeralds to increase the strain rate. Why the hell would I want to do that? Maybe that increase is actually having what you get through training from other things. I don't know how I experiment with that one, but yeah, that's and the volume and trajectory on this weapon is the same thing. It doesn't matter. The imagine he probably does increase over time with each thing, each time you increase it. But yeah. So that's pretty much how you do that. That's the the money making. I mean, experience making part of the money making. I just gotta go here. I've got to check here. I can select weapon shop. Sell now. I'm not gonna sell any of my emeralds here, but to give you an idea, what the huh? Oh, I know why that's coming to people now. Sorry. Right, hang on. I called. Wait, what? Oh, hold the phone. Oh, so it's actually showing. Oh, I know why. Well, if I went to sell these, just what I've got there, plus what I have sitting here in my storage, apparently, where is it? that's 286.5 million there, just everything I've got. Just emeralds alone. And I got all that through grinding that one mission. Hence why I got 985 million credits as it is. But yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know there, folks. Take on the Shooting Page 2 co op, uh, online co op mission. And yeah, get yourself a heap of credits, get yourself some EXP, and happy grinding. <laughs> I might get a little repetitive. Pretty quickly, but that doesn't matter. Grinding's grinding. That's mean. That's what JRPGs are for, right? Besides a good story. <laughs> oh, and of course, to use online, you will need a PlayStation Plus subscription, which I find a little bullcrag myself. But you are for technically opening an online lobby, so makes sense. Anywho. <laughs> God dang it, I'm at the yard. I know I've been up a while, but jeez. And before you guys ask, I've been being home from work about two hours now. <laughs> By the time recording this, and it's like, the time is 8.41 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time. But anyway. Regardless of that, and for this morning, I was up at two o'clock this morning because that's my hours. My hours are crazy for work. But usually, get the rest of the time to make videos and things for y'all. Plus, do my own thing in games. But still, that is my money making and exp guide. Oh, well, quick and easy money making and quick and easy exp guide. In fact, now have fun, folks. And I will say this is a slightly different I mean, after all course. You always part. If you like the video, please join that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you really love it, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I Ugh. Ugh. Fool. Be no hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video by selecting the all option if that is what you wish. And with all that being said and done to take a popular quote from Good Game Spawn Point. May all your games be good ones. And this is Band of 0073, smoking up those tires, burn that rubber on out of here, and signing 